Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we are going to be talking about the text rider. Uh, we're going to be talking about how to tame it, what you need to tame it, uh, the different types of text riders, what they do, all the functions of it. Uh, you can go ahead and see we have five text riders in, uh, in front of us. One of them is hiding over here to the left. You can kind of see it now. Uh, we do cover all of the options on these text riders uh, and specifically one that is really cool. Uh, that everyone probably much wants. So uh, you can see we have some copies here and some differences, uh, but we'll go ahead and cover all those for you so you can get a chance to see them. And I said five, but I meant six text writers. So let's go ahead and cover the differences of the text writers uh, that you can find, uh, and then we will talk about taming them uh, and all that information. So uh, you can see there are two different parts that are randomized on text writers. There's the head uh, unit or the head rig, or the then you have the body rig. Uh, there are four types of each of rigs. Uh, for the head, you can get uh, this first one right here is the pulse cannon rig. Uh, this basically deals seven damage to wild dinos. Uh, it does not scale with melee damage, uh, but basically uh, you can just keep shooting it over and over. Uh, kind of like a gun, and that's that first one right here uh, that you can have that just like boop, 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 just shoots a little laser seven damage a piece. Uh, the next one you're going to have is the silence cannon rig. Uh, this fires a sonic pulse, kind of like a war for a UD or a mammoth. Uh, creatures are affected for 30 seconds. They'll have blue smoke over their head, and the cooldown will begin again. Uh, consumes 50 charge per pulse uh, on this one, and we'll get into the charges and pulses here in a minute. Uh, you can see that is a repeat right there. Then you have the excavation drill. Basically, this will harvest everything except for extinction lightning poles or light poles, benches, and tables. Uh, it will do a scatter beam, and basically it just keeps it, uh, the longer you have it active, uh, it'll just keep zapping them and zapping them and zapping them and zapping them. Uh, the uh, Changes are pretty nice, uh, and if it's connected to a tech dedicated storage, uh, it will only harvest nodes that are contained to that particular resource. Uh, so there's a lot of connecting and things you can do with these. We'll get into that here in a little bit also, uh, but basically... Um, it just goes back and forth and just it's your drill unit is what it is. Uh, and then the last one is the radar uh, unit, the radar rig. This basically detects all living creatures nearby for a distance uh, and the level and it will temporarily track the detected, temporarily track the detected creature. Uh, it doesn't require any charge but can be used once every 35 seconds seconds. Uh, so those are the four head units you can possibly get. Uh, now let's talk about the body unit and then we're going to break down showing each different unit uh, on its specific thing uh, that you can have. So next is you have the shield generator rig. This basically just activates a shield around the Shriner uh, with it and it persists until the durability reaches zero. The charge is depleted or it's turned off. Uh, it has a max durability of 30,001 but the true durability seems to vary depending on the Strider's level. Level. Uh, so meaning that the higher the level, the longer the durability and the more armor it basically has uh, for the generator uh, rig here on this one. The next one is going to be the shield projector rig. You can see it back here. Uh, I should be clear. This one is just the spikes. This one you can see it's like these little... Uh, cones that kind of look like wings on the back of it. Uh, these activate a shield in a specific direction of the strider persists until it's either end of it's either turned off or the durability reaches zero. Unlike the shield generator rig, it does not use a charge. Uh, so you pretty much just project a shield in front of you. As I said, we will cover all of this craziness here in a minute. The next thing we have over here is the phase cannon rig. You can see that one is the big gun sticking out of the center of this thing. Uh, it fires a concentrated tech cannon blast uh, in a direction that's facing dealing 300 damage to creatures at its epicenter uh, and destroying resource nodes this damage does not increase with melee damage or strider level damage it consumes 50 charge and has a 10 second cooldown between blasts it can also be fired while scoped in with a spyglass to hit targets further away uh, so really kind of cool that you can use a spyglass and fire it and the last one we have here is over here and this is the resource attractor rig aka the saddlebag uh, it's going to passively reduce the carry weight of most if not all items and resources by 65 percent on top of it you can open up the radial menu to it um, and when you're on the radial menu you can actually have it where it will attach to your weapon uh, and you can see you've got dead cores, transfer swords we'll talk about this but enable resource collection from nearborn nearby mining drills so this one allows you to connect to a mining drill so if you only have the one on it uh, it'll allow you to do that and then you can go ahead 
and do that on there on that one. So first off, they all have beds on them, which allow for fast travel. You can see uh, they're pretty much like tech beds. You can lay in them if you want to uh, and go down underneath them. The other thing it has, it actually has a transmitter. So if you turn it on, you can see it sends out a transmitter. It glows. Uh, this allows you to go ahead and access the inventory, and you can transfer to another arc, uh, do your data transfer, all that kind of fun stuff off of here, uh, which is really cool. Then you can drive it as the other option, as you see here. All right, so welcome back. Uh, we've gone over all of the different uh, ways you can handle these text writers, uh, the options you can get for them. So now let's go ahead and talk about uh, what each one of those options actually does. Uh, we've talked about it abstractly. Now let's just go ahead and show you. So we have here uh, the dual gun uh, shield generator uh, here on this text writer, the dual gun being up front. Uh, just so you know, so if you hit the left button or your attack, standard attack button, you get a stomp. Uh, for your text riders and then on your right click you get your head action so in this case it's the guns you can see those little lasers shooting out and your c button is your body action uh, which in this case will be a shield around it uh, the text rider cannot move once the shield is up but it does give you a shield temporarily you just hit the c button to deactivate it uh, next up is going to be uh, the shield projector and the uh, buff I guess you could say horns on um, this one. You're going to go ahead and left click and you'll see same thing. Get the items. Uh, and then that right click, if you saw that, that little like uh, almost stun gun of Star Wars look uh, is the buff that goes out about amongst the dinos uh, that you can do it. They would grow blue, glow blue if you hit them. Uh, and then the C is the projected shield. This is the one that's in front of you. You can move with this shield uh, and turn as long as you're turning the right way, it turns back and forth. Um, and then you just go ahead and double tap C uh, in this case, and it removes the shield for you. Uh, next is going to be the chest cannon uh, is what I like to call it. Uh, you can go ahead. We're going to go in K mode to see this one just so you can see it. Uh, basically, you press C on it and it charges up and then it blasts out and does a bunch of damage. Um, it pretty much goes as far as you want it to. Uh, and there it goes, shoots out, blows up, does some damage, uh, the basic stuff. We're going to skip the uh, mining drill head on this case uh, just so that we can uh, go show you a couple other functions of the text rider uh, on here. Uh, the next one is going to be the rabbit ears, as I like to call them, or the sonar checker or uh, the dino searcher. So you're going to go ahead and click it, and it will pull up all the dinos in the general area. Uh, if you hold it, uh, it will give you a filter if you want to check for humans, if you want to check for dinos. You can change filter to both if you want it to. Uh, it will give you the locations. Then uh, if I have the locations on here, so let's just go to dinos only. Let's say we want to track this uh, level 20 uh, turtle. Uh, I press four on it uh, and it will pop up on there. Uh, and then you can see it hones on it on blue. It tells you how long it's got it scanned for uh, and it will let you target it. So now that I've targeted it and I've selected it, it will stay on there so I can continue to pursue it for the entire time uh, that this is up so I can track it uh, so I don't lose where it's at. So just kind of a fun little function of the strider and that does include enemy dinos if you have to. Uh, now let's go ahead and hit up the mining rig and the saddle bag. Um, this is probably the most common and the best strider in my book uh, that you could possibly get. I want to make a couple notes here before we get too crazy with this. Uh, one is you can attach your mining drill to it. So you can see enable resource collection from nearby mining drills. Uh, as long as you have a mining drill, um, you basically, if you look at it like this, I walk up to this rock, I start this baby up, and I get it. So all that stuff goes into my inventory. Now, if I enable resource gathering from mining drills, when I pull it, it's going to pull it right into the strider. So let's go ahead and disable that really fast. Um, and then hop back up and check in its inventory, and you can see all that stuff sitting in there. Um, but as we said, the saddlebag is so nice because if you get it on the excavator one, you literally can just go ahead and use your head action uh, and left click, and you're just going to get resources like crazy. And as long as you leave it on and continue to walk around, you're just going to see resources pile in 
due to the weight limit or weight problems or not the weight problems, but the ability to do whatever you want with the weight uh, allows the strider just to walk around and just suck everything up that's near it. Wood, uh, thatch, fiber, I mean, you name it, it's going to be out here. Uh, we've taken this out to space uh, for metal and I hate to say it, but I think the Magnosaur is pretty much obsolete at this point. Uh, this thing is fantastic and I highly recommend it. Uh, the mining gun will go as long as you have a charge for it. Uh, I've already weighed it out. Let's put it that way. Uh, literally, I just maxed out my weight just by standing here clicking that button. Um, now, my resource rates are a little bit higher than official, but you get the point. This thing is completely busted. Uh, and with the saddlebags, let's go ahead and jump in here. You can see the weight reduction uh, in here on this. Um, I am on my private server, so if you want to come hang out on this private server, you're more than welcome. Uh, these are all actually tamed. Uh, that's why there's so many of them, uh, and they're not that high of a level because I haven't finished all the missions yet, obviously. Uh, but uh, a lot of stuff on here is accessible. You just join the Discord uh, in the link down below, and you can go ahead and hang out on the server. Uh, no charge, no needs, or no payments, or anything of that nature. Uh, but that's going to really be um, it for covering all the options for the text rider. Um, talking about the different functions of them, what they can do. Now let's go ahead and talk about taming them. Uh, first, you need to know what you need to get for the text writer. Uh, for that, I created an actual Google Docs sheet uh, that will break down everything for you. I went through it and spawned in and examined every single possible level of text writers to give you the option to understand what you need for them. Um, so let's go ahead and jump to that page really quick, which you will find access to down in the description down below. Uh, it's there for you to share or give to anyone. As long as you give them the link, they can access it. So uh, good stuff for you there. So go ahead and check that out in the description down below. But let's go ahead and check out that document. So here we are uh, on my little data sheet that I made. I'm going to share this down below for everyone so you guys can check this out and use it. Uh, but basically, this is going to have access to all of your information you need around your text writers. This is going to tell you how many muni gel you need, how many missions you need to get done, uh, what level uh, the text writer is. Uh, and I'll give that equation out there for you. Uh, and this will be accessed down below. You will need this in order to understand if you can tame it or not tame it. Uh, so the more missions you have done, the higher the level of the text writer that you can get and the more mutagel it needs. But the mutagel is one per le per five levels. Uh, the missions jump and vary between two and one uh, more per five levels, as you can see here. So uh, as again, this link is going to be down below. So you have access to it if you need it. Uh, you can go ahead and share it wherever you need to. This is fully shareable. I'm not hiding it from anyone. Uh, but that's all there for you. So I hope you, it helps you out on your journey here. So let's go back into the game. Uh, uh, and quickly show you how to tame a text writer. Now we know what we need to do to have it. Uh, let's go ahead and tame one really quick and we'll talk about uh, that stuff in there really quick. So here we are, we have a text writer in front of us. It's level 20, uh, nothing too crazy. And we're just gonna go ahead and tame it really quick uh, just to show you how to do it. So what you need to do is you need to have mutagel in your last slot, walk right up to it, uh, and then it'll tell you a place to begin hacking. Uh, basically what you need to do is kind of point your direction at that point, if you have your tech suit on you, you can use it to get up here, and then you want to begin hacking. Uh, you'll press E on it, or whatever it is, and then you need to stay in the red square. Then you're gonna see these bars come up, and you wanna use your attack button when the green squares get into the line down there in the middle, in the bottom center of the screen. Uh, you can see me accessing them right there, and you have your text writer. So again, it's your attack button, uh, whatever that might be uh, in your uh, inventory uh, is what you need to do to get that up. Uh, so that is how you tame a text writer. I think I thank you so much for watching, guys. That's gonna cover it for our tech strider tutorial video or overview video uh, i hope you're going to get some text riders soon they are definitely very very strong along with a lot of the many of the items and dinos that have been introduced with genesis 2 uh, if you like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you need a channel subscribe hit that bell for notifications if you have anything you want to add about text riders that i might have missed maybe mispronounced or miss said uh, check it down and uh, let me know down in the comments down below but as always i hope you have a fantastic day and we see you on the next episode of lemur's corner